All right, it is time. This is the Infinite Investment Game. I talk about alternative investments and I talk about collectibles. And this is not investment advice, but hopefully you can take this information, become a better collector and just make better decisions when getting into sports cards, collectibles, and things that would be considered alternative investments. And today I want to talk about the Panini football release. I'm making this video very early, so by the time it comes out, this set will probably be out for about two or three weeks. But I've seen enough, <laughs> and I'm going to talk deeply or really just, just give my breakdown of the product and what you can expect as far as price fluctuations and things such as that. Um, so before I go and start, please like, comment, and subscribe. So here's the thing. The 2021 Panini Prism Football Box that's been released for Prism. Um, people have been waiting so long. It is 2022 and 2020, 2021 product should be released in 2021, not in the middle of 2022. It makes zero sense whatsoever. I mean, it's almost a year behind, but hey, um, at least we have it. And this is a very, people just wanted this product just because you know, it had Justin Fields, Zach Wilson, um, Trey Lance, Trevor Lawrence, um, you know, just a lot of quarterbacks in this draft that people are betting on. And this may be the best quarterback draft class ever or in a recent time period, but we'll see. Uh, just people are very, very excited. And uh, I will say that... It's, uh, obviously this product is going to be printed to all, all hell just because every single year they're printing to meet demand. Demand is very high. More people come into sports cars, especially football, more people buying it, uh, more people trying to break the product. So, um, 2021 prison football is maybe not the best investment. Obviously don't rip it just because like you're going to lose money. But also, you're going to have a lot of base and a lot of silver cards. And it's going to be ridiculous. Quality controls are crap just because, oh, I probably should make a separate video on this. But because of disruption of supply chains because of COVID and just what's going on with China shutdowns, um, it's just massively disrupted supply chain. So that's why you're seeing issues in these products because some of the stuff that's made isn't made in America, just so you know. Or even some of the materials you need to make it doesn't come directly from America. But anyway, um, for the product, uh, you have, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna go into some of the things in the product and then I'm gonna go into uh, whether you should really be buying this or not. And it's just my opinion, you know, I'm, I'm right. 60 to 80 percent of the time at least while most people are right only about 20 percent of the time at most so but anyway so hobby parallels include silver prism uh four per hobby box you got the snake skin uh one per hobby box and then you could get you know orange prism out of 249 purple ice out of 225 blue wave out of 199 hyper out of 175 Red Wave out of 149, Purple Prisms out of 125, Blue Ice out of 99, Green Scope out of 75, Orange Wave out of 60, Purple Power out of 49, Navy Camo out of 25, Forest Camo out of 15, Gold Prism out of 10, Gold Vinyl out of 5, and Black Finite. As a matter of fact, the Black Finite uh, for Mac Jones was pulled by a kid, apparently, and his dad and it was sold for a hundred thousand dollars good for them you know the seller at least for the seller um i hope he becomes the next tom brady because that's the only way i see you make a profit from that like or at least he just has like a major couple years where he's just killing the game 
and maybe win a couple of Super Bowls. Because if he doesn't, that's definitely going down in price. That's just ridiculous. I don't, just, just who, I don't know who's paying for this stuff. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's another cool rookie quarterback, Mac Jones. Um, Patriots quarterback. And then you have the autographs. I mean, honestly, for the serial number stuff, um, I really wouldn't be buying it unless it's out of 15 or less. 25 gets interesting. Um, I would buy the autos, like maybe the Silver Prism autos, but um, more specifically the Red Wave out of 149, the Green Scope out of 75, Purple Power out of 49, Cameo out of 25, Gold out of 10, Gold Vinyl out of 5, and Black Finite 101. I think the Mac Jones was just a 101, no auto, no RPA. So then you got the RPAs, the Silver Prism is out of 99, Purple Power 49 or less. Gold out of 10 or less, Black Finite is a 101. So you got three 101s in a product. I'm pretty sure that the inserts have 101s as well. You got the Color Blast, and then you got the, you got Black, you got the illumination, instant impact, and stained glass. And then you got this uh, Tampa, it's a manga one, a new release manga one. That's interesting because I'm in the manga, but from this card that I see, it doesn't look interesting to me. You got the hobby boxes and the first off the line. Uh, please do not rip this product. Um, it's a bad idea. I wouldn't buy in the box breaks either. To be honest with you, I wouldn't invest in seal wax, especially this product, even though you got Trevor Lawrence and all these supposed to be generational quarterbacks. I would not gamble because I guess it's hit or miss, right? If the one-on-ones for the main quarterbacks are pulled early on, then I think it's a bad, 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 bad idea to hold this. Um, because you don't know how the quarterback class is going to go. And then people know that this is an investment. So there's going to be a ridiculous amount of people um, hoping these one-on-ones don't get pulled. And uh, they could just buy up a bunch of boxes, put it in their closet, wait 5, 10, 20 years. And it severely increases in price. And for the increases in price, even if the quarterbacks are really good, the issue is going to be, the best way I can put it is, the issue is going to be, it's not going to sell as much as 1986 Fleer because they produced so many of these. Um, and it's... it's so you're going to have so many of these boxes that exist. So unless somehow it becomes more valuable than basketball and these players become more valuable than like a Michael Jordan rookie cards, uh, it's not going to go up that much. And this may be the height of at $1,400, maybe the height, maybe it gets to 2000 but maybe the height of the hobby boxes. So that's something to keep in mind. I would definitely not invest in any of the blasters as well um also in the box you have 12 cards per pack 12 packs per hobby box um 12 boxes per case and set size is 404 440 cards <sighs> when you're buying cards you're going to have every position in there from offense alignment to defensive players, which none of this stuff is going to be worth much money at all, unless it's a one-on-one. -on -one. And it's probably not worth the box, to be honest with you. Um, even offense alignment, tight ends, fullbacks, I mean, they're kind of non-existent at this point. Um, even most wide receivers won't be that valuable. Please understand that. And most quarterbacks in this draft won't be that valuable long term. If you want to flip, do it. Long term, I will be hesitant to, to hold this long term. Um, autographs, two per hobby box. Inserts, five, four silver prisms, additional serial numbered, and 24 rookies. Again, it may not be a quarterback. It could be some running backs. It could be some wide receivers. It could be some tight ends. It could be some offense alignment, defense alignment, linebackers, safeties, kickers, and punters. I'm sure they're going to be adding kickers and punters in there. 
maybe a coach. He's a rookie coach. Um, so just be aware of that. Don't be, or some legendary player, you know, that's retired years ago and no one really cares about. There's a one-on-one -on -one for them. Um, yeah, that's the pretty much it, though. Like, I don't think this is the most investable product. Honestly, I think the high-end stuff is like the actual National Treasures Immaculate, you know, Flawless. Stuff like that it is more of an investable kind of product, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, it depends. It depends how the draft class pans out. And it depends on, like, how many that they really make. And also, whether these guys are going to be popular. Because it could be, like, a Drew Brees caliber player and also Ben Roethlisberger. But it still could be a situation where guys don't really care about those two quarterbacks. So that's something to keep in mind, too. Some of these guys could be just as good as Drew Brees or a little bit better and just as good as Ben Rosberger is a little bit better. But people overall don't care about them in the hobby in a sense because they care about Brady, Montana, guys who've won three-plus Super Bowls in a sense, or Peyton Manning, who's a little different. But yeah. That's my video. Let me know in the comments below what you think and peace.